Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Live. In this episode, I want to show you my uh, kind of progress in trying to understand this tool by CG Tinker. It's called Blend AR Track. Okay, so there is another one that's called Blend AR Mocap. This is a little bit more advanced. Maybe I'll cover this in the next video. Um, Blend AR Track. Okay, so it's basically a way you can track uh, your face using um, iPhone or other smartphone um, and you can also track the camera and then bring it into Blender so you can kind of drive any face like maybe your own face or even like a character face and then exporting it out as AR okay so this is gonna be like a like a bone bone animations and this is not perfect I need to maybe do like some pain wave but still pretty interesting and the tool has been developed for maybe over a year but it's been around for a while and the add-on has been going through many many iterations and the latest one actually kind of uh, works really well and you can actually apply these animations into a different character okay so this is the whole video you, you can study this this is the developer uh, CG Tinker and I'm just the user and I'm just testing it out. Um, you could definitely use this for professional uh, professional works. But anyway, you capture your face using Blend AR Track, uh, the same app on your iPhone. You record your face, facial expression and animations and you bring it, bring it into your computer and the result will be, let me show you download blend okay this is my recorded face the result will be this file so it's it comes in JSON it comes in JSON and it's just the data and you need to bring it into blender through the add-on in the past there is actually this FBX this is different I'll show you the different in a bit so in the past I've been using face cap app and with FaceCap app, it brings your facial animations as blend shapes. Okay, this is this is the old version. Uh, let me select all by type mesh and turn this off. Okay, you have seen me doing this many times in the past. It's very similar. This one actually brings the blend shapes all the 51 blend shapes that you can transfer into characters however you cannot just simply export it out because for AR at least for the iPhone you need to have you need to use the bone animations instead of uh, blend shapes I don't know why maybe it's more efficient with bone so we are not using this one we are using the blend AR track I already installed the add-on so you need the app and then you need the add-on called Blend AR Track. This is version 2.2. .2. I just wanna keep it updated. Um, yeah, so the, the add-on is gonna look like this. I will delete everything in the, in the 3D scenes. I will now do the import. So there's a camera import options. I, I'm, not, I'm not importing camera. I'm importing the face. And there are two options, face mesh and face rig empties. I will show you the face mesh first of all. Face mesh is already quite useful, especially if you are playing with geometry nodes. So I'm gonna import the face. Import data, so you need to do that. Okay, we got the face. This is my actual face. So it's not a character with blend shapes. It's my actual face and then I can import the next one my face animations you can see this is the the data size import the data it's gonna take a few seconds now I have my animations let's copy paste okay now we have the animations let's save this very quickly face AR track and then the next one if I want to, I can import the the head pose actually. This will 
okay yeah, let's bring it here like this so that your head if you're animating your face your head is also moving so you there's this empty provided so you can just parent it without inverse now yeah this is actually how it looks when I recorded my face and the video okay so it's really really interesting the next one I want to show you is the face rig empties um, yeah this one is slightly tricky but I'm gonna try to show it to you uh, what you need to do is to import the face animation and then import it as face rig empties import the data it's gonna take a few seconds so I've been testing this since morning okay so we have the this face animations I haven't tried the the head rotation yet but for now I just keep it like this and then I will generate the face rig if I'm not wrong okay this face rig can be can be modified to fit your character first of all okay so you 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 make the changes here so if your character maybe have different shapes gonna try scaling it yeah maybe your character have longer face or bigger eyes this is the bone that's gonna be used so we're gonna try to transfer from this empty into this character oh by the way yeah I mentioned about geometry nodes because this guy is a mesh and you can use geometry nodes with it so I create geometry nodes and I'm, I'm, I'm using blender 3.2 alpha and if you are using cycles and you want to render your face as bubbles you can just use mesh to points for example and you can instance anything it's a it's pretty cool pretty handy I've done it I've done this in the past but I think today we can just use like random color on this character yeah this will actually render as bubbles so set material there's a lot there's a lot you can do with the facial expressions and the, the nice thing about this is of course it's your own face and it's your the most precious commodity maybe you like your face or maybe you don't really like your face but you, you want to use different avatar but still your face is like the best anchor for augmented reality I don't know it's a it's a it's a talking head right uh, yeah it's pretty interesting you can subdivide more over here and yeah play around play around with it okay the material I just want to show you of course point info random color ramp random color boom yeah some color plug into the base color subsurface scattering or transmissions you get bubble yeah you can do some fancy stuff you can actually instance objects there but that's when you're dealing with geometry now let's get back to this guy when you import it as face rig empties the empties will have animations I don't know how many empties here maybe over 100 oh 1219 okay that's the points that's really important and can be tracked but all you need to do is really you just want to use this rig and create driver so this bone is looking at some of these points and then try to transfer the animations I think that's the idea and at least it should work and shouldn't give any error I but I haven't I just tried this add-on a few hours ago okay yep now it's been created this uh, this one thing yeah 
I could have just transfer this. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, this can be used to add some more animations on top of it. But now you can see this is the bone. This is like the the base template bone for your character. Your character might have different face. This like anime face or any face, as long as like a human face with two eyes and one mouth and the nose and the ears. It should transfer basically. So you can hide the empty. And then all you need to do is just okay based on the these bones maybe I should have uh, have an example you just simply parent it and weight it into the bones once you've done that you can just simply export it out into like reality composer app or something I have a few example Okay, that's using geometry nodes, obviously. Let's see. Face import test number four. Okay, number three. Ah, okay, this one also using geometry nodes. You can use distribute points, distribute random points. I've done this in the past, I think. But you can instance like for example you import like some photos like random photos and then just apply it into this guy and then just instance it in general i think the the points should be pretty stable for the character yeah i've shown you this before uh, you either use the distribute points or just use the actual points but with the actual points you don't necessarily you don't necessarily have the the normal so you might need to deal with the normals should be facing the camera maybe or you can transfer the normal from from the original face mesh Yeah, maybe this is the geometry and then you want to transfer the normal and use rotations normal align Euler to vector okay yeah one of this anyway you should get the idea Sometimes you need like try and error. So this is the face. Really, you you have control over uh, your face, and you want to do with it. So it's a it's a really precious thing. Oops. Okay. Solidify. If you want to solidify, you need to realize instances, and then you can do solidify here. And then you can use remesh. Yeah, you have like a like a sand a character made of sands or like bricks. So anyway, I should probably save this. So it's a whole you like face performance uh, etc that you can transfer i haven't tried it with actual anim uh, character but i did rig my own face using the skin so yeah, this is the if i just simply parent my original face skin into the bones i definitely need to fix some this thing around the lips it's always the problem area and also if I, my character have ears, that's also another thing. But on top of this, once you have it rigged, you can still animate some part, you know, like the eye. I haven't tried it with eyeballs, but if your character is like a stylized anime character, maybe the eye, the eyes, you want it to have extra movement on top of it. 
and this is I don't know this is I think this should move the drivers oh yeah if I make the character looking like that it's still gonna move the animations oh yeah so that's that's like additional extra animation control there on top of the original uh, original drivers like uh, the empty of the face yeah could be handy but this since this is like a uh, bone animations you can bake it you can bake the actions and then you can export it out as USD or USDZ or GLB I believe it's gonna be bone animations I think with USD the bone animations will be more efficient with GLB you might have limitations on how many character faces how many bones you, you can animate and export so yeah with all the limitations and all the different format this is I think really cool and definitely thanks to CG Tinker you need to tinker a little bit with this but once you have it working and yeah, it's gonna be cool yeah I talked about blend AR mocap before in order to use this one you need to you need to set up a couple of things in the background in order for the add-on to work this is uh, super interesting you can track the whole body and with uh, some hands and fingers but you, you need some kind of uh, you need to set it up properly to install it you need to have like extra run as an administrator but this is like for another different video for now yeah the blend AR track for face and camera is really cool and you can you can use like a pre-recorded video I believe and then just to get the face animations and then you apply it in blender you can change the face into anything all right so thanks again for tuning in hopefully this is useful and i'll see you next time thank you bye